November is Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Month. It's estimated that more than 56,000 Americans will be diagnosed with the disease this year, and nearly 46,000 will die from it. Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg and Jeopardy host Alex Trebek are two of the best-known patients. Tonight, Dr. John LaPook explains how an extraordinary group of patients, while not celebrities, are receiving a type of star treatment. Three years ago, Arnold Simon's doctor told him he had advanced pancreatic cancer that had spread to his liver. I asked what my prognosis was, and she said four to six months. But Simon is a rare pancreatic cancer survivor known as an extraordinary responder. He had a dramatic response to chemotherapy, and his tumors completely disappeared. And I just had a scan last Tuesday, and I was all clear. Dr. Elizabeth Jaffe at Johns Hopkins believes figuring out why Arnold Simon is all clear will provide clues to treating others. To do that, she's using a new approach with a collaboration called the Convergence Institute. We needed more than just cancer biologists. What we really needed was to bring together experts from other fields. So now, experts in physics, mathematics, and other fields have joined the fight. That includes astrophysicist Alex Soleil. He used a decade's worth of computerized data from one telescope to create a virtual map of over 200 million galaxies. This is like the, you know, Google of the sky. This is not a night sky. It's cancer viewed on the cellular level. Soleil and his colleagues are using the same approach that helped them map galaxies to explore the interactions between cancer and the immune cells that fight them. That's the battleground right there. He hopes examining extraordinary responders like Simon will help researchers figure out why his immune cells were able to kill the cancer. It gives me the goosebumps, you know, so that, you know, so working on the sky was very exciting and all the things that I learned that can actually save lives. And beat one of the deadliest cancers, if the stars align. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York. Let's hope they do.